Well, Pastor Lynn, are you ready for what we discussed the other day? I do believe I am. The envelope, please. My pleasure. And the winner is? I do believe we have a choice in here. Mm-hmm. Would you care to pick one? Read it. You have been found to be in violation of Timothy's requirements for the behavior of a deacon. You remain unrepentant, therefore you are released from your position. My brother, you do seem a little unrepentant. Now deacon, you've been given two choices here. Are you satisfied with the one that you have or would you like to pick again? Okay, fine. I'll play along with y'all's little game. Submit yourself to correction and... And what? And become the kind of leader who pleases the heart of God. Listen, Dick. This is a very serious situation here. But I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. We're going to give you three days to come up with a decision. And what I suggest to you is for you to lay down your prideful ways, Deacon Samuels, and not only think, but pray. And when you've prayed about it, and if that's a yes, meet us at the church, 5 p.m. on Thursday. Good enough? Yeah, sure. Well, all right, Pastor Lynn, Deke, shall we go? I am right behind you. I know when I'm not wanted. <sighs> Bitsy, come here and let me talk to you for a second. Okay, you're gonna make me submit to correction too? Oh, no. This is what the Lord just instructed me to tell you. Bitsy, he loves you. The God of the entire universe created you in his own image. Why? Because he wants a personal, intimate relationship with you. Why would he want that? Because he wants to flow through you, through you, Bitsy Malone, so that he can do great things on the earth. That is awesome. <laughs> but I'm no deacon. I'm sure no saint. Oh, honey. But what you are is a broken vessel. You have been hurt. You have been abused terribly. Okay, look, I, I've had enough. Bitsy, I'm out of here. I gotta go. Are you coming with me or not? Are you kidding me? Just go. Oh, Bitsy. It's so simple, honey. What God is saying to you right now is just come just as you are. Come and let him make your life a thing of beauty. I'll tell you, here, let me give you my card. Now when you're ready to talk, you just come and we'll talk. Oh, Bitsy, honey, God loves you so much. <laughs> Pastor Lynn, looks like he's not going to show. So, should we remove him from his position? Nah, not yet. Let's, let's wait and see if he shows up at all. Then we'll make that decision. Uh, guys, I hate to bring this up, but since we've got a little time on our hands, you do realize that premarital sex has become the social norm. And people are finding no harm in it. Yes, but God wouldn't tell us not to do something if there wasn't any harm in it or there weren't any consequences. He's a good God and he only wants what's best for us. Now you're talking some sense. You know, things have sure changed since I was a young boy. And not for the good. 
Mm. I wish that more pastors would speak about this from behind the pulpit. Mm. You know what, Deacon, I, I think a lot of them have given up. Or they just feel like no one wants to hear what they have to say. Well, there's another reason, too. They're afraid if they discuss the moral issues of the people that will ruffle the feathers of the flock. And that just might affect their paycheck. Their money. Money. There you go. But at the same time, Pastor, you know, facts are still facts. And these issues are getting worse and worse as the days go by. Mm -hmm. Especially if they cross cultural or ethnic boundaries. Mm. And they must be discussed. You're mm -hmm. right. And don't forget about the problems with our government trying to be the God of the people. Mm -hmm. And they're not helping. They aren't. Mm -hmm. They aren't. But let's go back to this word culture that you used. The only culture that we're to be concerned about is God's culture. Amen to that. Amen. Did you hear that? Somebody's coming. Wow, hopefully it's Deacon Samuels. Maybe, just maybe, he's decided to become the man God has called him to be. 459, one minute to spare. Ah, blessed be the name of the Lord. There's nothing more beautiful. Mm -mm. than repentance and forgiveness. Yes. Yes. <sighs> so it's not the deacon, but the broken vessel who's chosen for God. Amen. Amen.